guys? Today I'm doing a really short, quick sketch. <sighs> I'm an idiot. Um, of a creature. You guys know that I love creatures. Me love the creatures. I love them. So hopefully the audio on this video is going to be working because I'm using my camera audio without showing the camera. <laughs> Anywho, so, what am I doing? Just doing some creature fun. You guys know that I love doing creatures. I love doing, not scary, I'm not really a scary guy. Um, you know, I'm not, that's not my milieu, my milieu, my, my jam. I love doing fun creatures, cute creatures. Um, you know, creatures that are combining two types of animals, gosh. Blech. My computer is like, what are you doing to me, bruh? So, I'm working in Sketchbook Pro, just having some super fun, having uh, uh, just a moment of reprieve from the amount of work that I've been doing lately. Man, I've been doing a lot of work. And uh, sometimes I just need to... It's called... I, I think I made a video of this a while back. It's called stress sketching. <laughs> Um, I'm a stress sketcher, which means whenever I have too much work, not too much, no, we never have too much work, um, as a freelancer, you know, I, I basically, I draw whenever I get stressed. I don't know if anybody else has that, but I sure as heck do. I get so stressed out, I'm like, dude, I gotta go draw something. And it helps me cope. It's like a coping mechanism, and yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Just a little sketch -do, um of a creature. Whoa, as you can hear my computer going, what are you doing? Um, and that's what I'm doing. Just doing a, a quickie. A quickie sketchy. A, a quick sketchy of a creature. You guys see, um, he's kind of moving uh, in this direction. And you can see his arm right here. kind of comes around and he did. Maybe had that pinky coming out just a little bit. He's not going to really be a... It's not scary. He's going to be cute, but he's going to be big. So let's have that come right over here. At this stage, I can really have a lot of fun with it. You know, I want to give him some fur. So we'll have this over here. And then we'll have this right there. You know, and then we'll have this going like this. And maybe I'll have a fur patch going down here. You know, literally, whenever I'm drawing something like this, I'm not really thinking, oh, it needs to be super accurate. Especially in the sketch phase. You know, I'm just drawing basic shapes and trying to get movement. If you've ever heard this terminology, gesture, gesture, you know, I think that we, we kind of confuse that a lot of times with, you know, human anatomy. You know, the gesture is an attitude. It is a moment. It is a snapshot of an action or an attitude, or something that really reads quickly. And, you know, that's what I'm doing right now. It's kind of like that roadmap that I talk about a lot. Let's give him some horns. Maybe he's got some horns. Come like this. Maybe the... Gosh. I'm so used to working in other programs like Photoshop. Occasionally I forget that Sketchbook Pro, whenever I hit the space bar, and if I do anything like this, and I hit this and I zoom in and out, it'll freak out. So, let's go ahead and put his eyes in. Eyes, he's kind of a three-quarter view. Let's have it go looking over there to the left-hand side. He's like, hey, hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? How's it going, man? What are you doing later? You know, as I develop these sketches and these little attitude sketches, you know, they're really quick. They're really, I call them quick and dirty, but they're not really dirty. They're just quick. And what I do is I'll do maybe four or five of these. And then if one of them speaks to me, it's like, hey, come on over. You and I can have some fun today. You know, we'll, we'll render me up and, you know, we'll have some fun. It'll be great. I think this guy needs eyelids. How about eyelids? You know, he's got an eye. He's got a brow that comes up. This one's like, huh? Whoa. And then this one comes around. And then this. This. Okay. Need 
as you see, all I'm doing is just creating a road map. You know? It needs to come down a little bit further. Oops. See what I mean? <laughs> Why are you doing that? Okay. Just to show that he's still a monster. This is a little monster. He's got some he's got little patties right here. He's it's just a cute little monster. He's just so cute. Here. And then he's not gonna have a nose. And then we want him to have friendly teeth. So if you want him to be evil, he's like <laughs> But then you want him to be friendly. You still give him teeth. But you stagger them and you make them round like so. And then he's got this little hey hey hey. See, I'm trying to do his voice in my head and what he's gonna say. Hey hey hey. He's got his little hair. His little hair comes up like this. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do? What am I gonna do? Move him over slightly. Down, let's do this. Whoops. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So now I will just start refining. Refining being that action we do as um, you know, a character designer, a character creator, creature designer. I'm gonna refine and and keep refining and defining who this particular guy is. See, I want to name him. What can I name him? Julian? Every time I hear Julian, I think of King Julian from Madagascar. King Julian? As I keep hitting that magnifier. Alright. Let's make this a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Let's give him some white in his. See, he's friendly. Okay. Cool. Let's sample back. Let's go here. Let's make his hair come out just a little bit right there. His ears are going to be hidden. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll just start you know again going back maybe he is, comes around like this make that a little bit bigger go ahead and push in some of these darks to give him a little bit of form down a little bit, and he's got this kind of a beard. I want him to have a little beard. Right? Here. Comes around. And then, hmm. There. Look through my collection of brushes here. I know I have a brush that I can utilize. Where is that brush? No, no. Hmm. hmm. You can see I've got a lot of brushes in this program. I don't use this program as much as I should. As much as I probably should. Let's go ahead and keep these down here. Go ahead and shade this in. No. No. Yeah, here we go. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot. That looks really good. Good, good, good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the brush size. Quite large. I'm going to go ahead and shade in that silhouette. Good, good. 
good. Maybe he's got a little shadow on the bottom here. Because he's a big guy. Still haven't named him. Fred. Got it. It just came to me. His name is Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Isn't it funny? How whenever you're working, you're working, you're working, you don't know, you don't know, you da, 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 and then suddenly, boom, it lands. And that's his name, Oliver. Now, I can start developing him as a character. So let's go ahead, a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. highlights here and there. Maybe his teeth are a little highlighted. Yeah. Add a layer, drag it below the other layer. Increase the brush size. Another reason why I'm doing this is because, unfortunately, today when I was at the grocery store, I broke my toe. <laughs> and honestly, I'm a little stressed out about it. I didn't go to the doctor or anything. I broke my toe many times before, and I know what it feels like. And it hurts. And it just was Ow! It was one of those breaks where there was stuff happening. <laughs> We're just going to leave it at that. I don't want to gross you out. So, that being said, I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and draw something. Yeah, he's fun. Okay, I'm gonna do a really big background, make this lighter. Okay, so that is just a little quick doodle, little doodle sketch. Maybe I come here, add another layer, shrink that brush down, do a specular highlight on his eye. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go ahead and ink this guy, and we will do a short rendering on him just for fun. All right, guys, enjoy the time lapse.
this is the final illustration I could obviously work on it for the next hour, two hours, three hours, or however far I want to take the rendering. This was, again, just a really quick doodle. I love doing warm-ups in the morning. It is one of my favorite things to do. I traditionally do things with pen and pencil or marker or something traditional. I like touching the paper, but this morning I decided to break out the old Sketchbook Pro and work in Sketchbook Pro. What's great about this particular program, or at least it used to be free, and uh, I think now it might be on subscription or it might be just a flat fee, but either way it is a very powerful piece of software that you can utilize and download brushes. As you see, I've got a whole collection. You can buy brushes. It saves as a PSD file. It works in layers. It doesn't have as much layer transparency and compositing tools as Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint, but it still is a fun, quick, easy program that you can get in there and learn very quickly. And the rendering engine for the brushes is actually pretty good, such as if you were to go over and see some of these brushes over here on the side. Let's go ahead and get a... Yeah, you can get some really cool cross-hatching. I wanted to go in and do some cross-hatching for him. And you can just have tons of fun. Look at that. And you can go in and give him some, a little bit more contrast. Not that I'm going to leave this. I'm just giving you an example of exactly what you can do. And then you go in and you put it on maybe a multiply. And you can just push that back. And that just gives him a different level of, uh, of character and texture that maybe, you know, you can experiment with. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. Really short video, quick and dirty. This whole illustration took probably less than 35 minutes. And, you know, I started out obviously with real basic shapes. You watch that and ended up with something that has a little fun character to it and uh, tells a little bit of, you know, bit of a story of Oliver. Oliver's a, a kind-hearted monster. He's a monster and he's going for a haircut. He needs a it's a haircut. So that's, again, all I had for you guys today. Just do me a favor, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button. And definitely share, uh, if you can, on your channel or on your social media. I'm trying to grow the channel. And what I found out recently, just because of the way the algorithm works, you have to have a certain number of likes and, and comments for it to even get blasted out to subscribers. And I think that minimum is either 60 or 90 for the likes. So let's get that like number up there so I can get this out to subscribers. My videos routinely hit, you know, three, five, seven hundred views. I'm just trying to get that up so I can again grow the channel and get more content, cool content out to you guys. So thank you again for being a subscriber. And if, if you're here for the first time, hit that notification bell so you can get my new videos. So we'll see you again soon, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.